Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Hello, good morning, and uh, thank you for giving me an opportunity to talk about uh, this project uh, when a team of uh, data engineers from different organizations, uh, having mostly bioinformatics background, uh, has been presented with a task to build a data processing platform for national studies of uh, pollution and health. And uh, as uh, you can deduce from the name of the organization, it deals with the uh, health research. It uses a lot of different data sources, including climate data from Google Earth, uh, pollution data, obviously, demographic data from census, and uh, so on. But most important is health data, and uh, health data is highly confidential, so it's not possible to share health data sets between uh, different research groups, even if it's the same data set like Medicaid or Medicare data. So the only way to reproduce each other results is really to share workflows, and uh, then groups can run shareable workflows uh, in their own, uh, with their data available to them. And uh, this is something that has been long recognized uh, in the con community of bioinformatics. And as I mentioned, we have mostly bioinformatics background. So we definitely wanted to leverage uh, our knowledge. Uh, granted, uh, data engineering pipelines perform a little bit different tasks than bioinformatics pipelines. It's mostly data acquisition from uh, various data sources, uh, data cleansing, record the duplication, uh, query optimization in uh, databases, and so on. But surprisingly, uh, portable workflows are really not common uh, in the data engineering, at least not to my knowledge, which is really a problem for uh, population health research. And there is no consensus between data engineers about what language should be used for uh, describing workflows, even less agreement on whether it should be a text language, uh, which again we recognize in bioinformatics. A little bit more in detail about the specific requirement we faced. First of all, the final result of the workflow uh, should be a data warehouse optimized for fast queries, not a set of uh, files or documents as a uh, common in other cases. The platform has to be easily installed without the help of professional, IT professional. It should have a graphical user interface for execution control, and it should be able to operate in a secure environment behind a firewall that completely blocks uh, both inbound and outbound direct internet access, which is a huge problem both during installation and executing tasks like uh, data acquisition from external sources. It also should be able to run tools written in, in database languages uh, right, like PL, PG, SQL, because data cleansing often is best done uh, within that database. Uh, so that's basically what we have built. We have selected a uh, common workflow language, uh, basically over uh, We have selected um, CWL Airflow as a platform to execute it. Uh, and uh, we built a Docker-based uh, deployment using Docker Compose to orchestrate various components of this deployment. Uh, the configura uh, runtime configuration is done using uh, Python virtual environments and optionally uh, content package management. Uh, tools can be written in uh, various languages, and the platform has production and development mode. It has been deployed for national studies of air pollution and health on Harvard University a research computing cluster on CentOS using Puppet for infrastructure management, and also in a Red Hat OpenShift cluster on IBM Cloud using Terraform as infrastructure management tool. Uh, the platform is operational and is used uh, for, by researchers. However, we do face a few 
pain points, uh, restarting workflows from arbitrary uh, task is uh, not trivial. We do have some issues with realization and progress monitoring, and we've had something on GitHub. Thank you.